For our first enhancement, let's set default values to our form fields. The useForm hook accepts an object as argument. Inside this object, we can specify a key called default values, which is also an object. We add key value pairs to this object, where the key represents the field name and the value is the default value we want to set. We will set an empty string as the default value for all three fields. That is, username, email, and channel. Now this doesn't change anything except for the fact that we don't need to specify the form values type when invoking use form hook. TypeScript does not throw an error. The library will infer the types based on the default values passed in. However, for completeness, we can leave the type in. Now to make sure the default values option is working correctly, let's add a default value for the username field, which we will set to Batman. Head to the browser, refresh, and we can see the username field has the specified default value of Batman. Now setting default values can be useful in certain types of form controls. For instance, we can set the default country in a select dropdown, the current date in a date field, or check the subscribe to newsletter checkbox for the user to opt out. With React Hook form, setting default values is a really simple task. Now you may be thinking, can we load previously saved data as default values? The answer is yes. Let me show you an example. If we head over to jasonplaceholder.typeeco.com, we have a free fake API for testing and prototyping. Here, if we scroll down to slash users, you can see we have an array of 10 users. Navigate to slash users slash one, and we have a user object with an email field. Let's assume this is previously saved data, which we need to pre-populate the email form field in our YouTube form. To load previously saved data, we change default values to an async function. Async function, we make a request to JSON placeholder slash users slash one. We get hold of the response in JSON format and we return an object where username is Batman, email is data.email, which is the email from our API. And finally, channel is an empty string. If we now save the file and head back to the browser, refresh, and we can see the email field now has a value retrieved from the API endpoint as its default value. Of course, I am setting only one form field value but you can do this with all the field values if data matches the form values type. I'm going to revert this back to synchronous default values to keep this simple, but hopefully you've understood how to load saved data into a form with React Hook form. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at working with nested objects in React Hook form. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.